I remember training with my father in the years after the Rat Plague. Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. What training regimen does Father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. If I get going fast enough, I can slide beneath that. Only I could spend every day running and jumping. Ugh. Now to test my agility. Come to me. I'll have to jump up and grab the edge to climb over. You've learned well. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Father's always on about the value of quiet feet. That's my girl. You don't let me hear you or see you. Didn't see anything at all. Stay low, and out of your enemy's line of sight. Quiet as a lynx stalking a gazelle. Remember, a pistol will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Yes. That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. You're 
quick. Walk with your blade. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Smart move. Come on. That'd stop even the most black-hearted killer. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Come on. of an assassination. Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Sirkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. 
your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now, I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah! First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Lock him in the Empress's chambers, and then I'll bring him to Coldridge Prison to tell his trial. My father lost it all. Sent me to the city watch. One step above begging. You think I had to take your orders? Corvo Itano, son of a Zirconan tradesman. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Oh, so that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the City Watch, the Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. What? What happened? Alexei, the throne room, Emily, Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Dunwall always has a way of turning sour. Just as soon as you get comfortable. I hope 
helped Emily get a frog unstuck from this old clock when she was 11. I swear I'll find a way to fix this. To bring her back. Delilah took away the mark of the outsider. No more sorcery. Ramsey's a traitor. Uh, is Lady Emily all There's a right? coup underway. Emily is... she's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for you. Get away, and help Emily. I'm sorry, Captain Mayhew. Goodbye. Need my ring to open the safe room. Ramsey has it. Won't open without my ring. These bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. Locked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I have searched the royal chambers. Assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. Look up. Hmm. What was that? Hmm? Hey, hey, who is? You aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. Oh, isn't it laundry day yet? I've got to be soon. I can't stand my own stench. off we should have the time we need just stay here and stall anyone who comes by i'll be back when i've searched the royal chambers assuming i don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room we'll cover for you if anyone from the duke's party returns <sighs> it's exciting everything's changing yes the natural order is reasserting itself the Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils. Cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsey's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's anyone else's fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. Where are you hiding? I'm hungry. 
Damn it. He's been choked out. To pee. Stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Anton Sokolov made this lock. Sleep in here after the plague. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? Reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. I've got to deal with Ramsey. to lock Ramsey inside the safe room so we can't cause any more trouble. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsey. The Imperial Suite atop. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. I've got to get out of Dunwall. Delilah turned Emily to stone. I will find a way to make her flesh again.
You're not fit for that watch uniform. Men. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's missing. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Corvo Atano has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find him. That's it, we've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Baldwin and her royal protector Corvo Atano are now wanted criminals. Let me remind you, there's a reward for your help in capturing enemies of the state. Dunwall citizen. Hey, get me here. Quiet. Show yourself. Hey, who is it? Road is full. I don't know that ship, but maybe the captain can help. Don't worry about that. You know what to do. Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warmed over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who seized the throne. They have Emily and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away, recover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunwall. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. Should we go? Let's go. somehow. I remember this endless cold. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? 
You've lost another Empress. Delilah was born a pawn, but now she's got the throne. Fifteen years ago, the assassin Dowd could have warned you about her if you'd bothered to ask. But you were too busy for questions. Times have changed, Corvo. And you haven't been watching the dark corners of the world. Maybe living in a palace has made you soft. What happens when you push a man farther than he ever thought he could go? Does he snap? And what happens when he tries to go home? Maybe you'll finally learn what it feels like to kill an Empress. Now I could have told you about that, too. I felt this so long ago. The void. It was still there all along. Never thought I'd be here again. Feels as good as I remember. Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. Before. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Jessamine, if all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand and I will guide you when I can. sister, bearing the outsider's mark. There's no one quite like Delilah. I watched her pull herself up from blood and filth, until she was in a position to steal from the wisest scholars in the Empire. Survival and ambition, art and magic. With a cunning that makes fawning sick offense of those around her, all of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game. She took all the abuse the world could deal out, and now she has a crown. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Maybe I got lazy, fell asleep at my post. Somehow everything I love is at risk, again. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18, boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor and I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. For over three decades, I've lived in a palace, watching over the people I love. I've had an empress die in my arms, 
and raised another from birth. Who would have thought I'd come back home, the most wanted man in the aisles, following the trail of a monstrous killer? What would that 18-year-old think of me now? The jewel of the south, my homeland.
must be Kurt. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. The Duke's probably not back from Dunwall yet. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is all right. Wherever he is. If he isn't tinkering or painting, Sokolov's chasing life. Or he used to. Karnaka looks... All right, you've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn you. There were reports about tensions rising. Corruption, street violence. It's the sort of thing that happens, and usually the local authorities resolve it. The new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer was a solarium years ago. I'll get inside and eliminate the Crown Killer. Maybe the alchemist will cooperate, maybe she won't. Either way, I'll try to figure out what happened to Sokolov, too. I would say good luck, but I don't think you want my luck. When you get done at the Institute, disable the watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. You remind me of someone I used to know. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Ready. The old city must have changed a lot. Off we go then. One more time, old friend. by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland, and use the carriage station. A 
Before his death, the old Duke of Sircono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. I remember the old Duke Theodanus. He was a good man. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I can take care of myself. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adermire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. gonna be Brian Heck. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. What ship is that out there? <laughs> gonna go somewhere. Your face is cut. Hello there. You know how to go to the lights. What do we start to do? I got news for them. That ain't never for the likes of me. Are you coming in now? Trouble sleeping again. Maybe I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures, but they can be kind of pricey. An underground market. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. Carl. Going through there puts us on the other side of the wall of light. If you want out of the city as bad as I do, this is our chance. No. More likely we all get stunned in it. The next group of idiots who try to get inside. Damn it, Carl. Come in. If you've found this place, I'll trade with you. Ah, you want blueprints for better weaponry.
That's no way to live. I'm a wanted man again. Welcome home. Please, you gave me no choice. Please? It's too late for that, Rapal. Guess what happens next? This is how we get rid of snitches. Remember, if anyone asks, he just ran through it. Yeah, we couldn't stop him. turning all right up there no problems don't worry it's turning plenty of electricity good i like this setup better than you Someone there. Sure. fellow sir conan let us rejoice with the crowning of our new empress delilah Caldwin the first and the eminent arrival of his grace luca abel duke of sir conan now royal consort to the empress for three days following the Duke's return to Karnaka, all official government activity will be put on hold as the Duke recovers from his travels, and additional tariffs will be levied against foot traffic near the Grand Palace. Move along. We're conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Think you're being quiet? By the strictures! Hey, you! Come here! I don't want to die! No, no, no. I'll... Oh, the army! Isn't he the man on the pope? city once, before the Duke began choking the life out of the place, before the Crown Killer started painting the walls red. Now you're here, and I have to wonder whether you're going to give it that final nudge, or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready.
concern is the most severe in recent memory. If you encounter a nest or an infested corpse, do not disturb it. Any attempts to practice the funeral rites of the Abbey of the Ebony will be punished. Could be anything. I just gotta watch my own back. Grand Sir Conan Guard at once. The guardsmen on site will handle the situation and determine whether any fines are appropriate. All right. We used to throw rocks at these nests when I was young. Just go slow and mind the distance. Easy.
guard soldiers. Best to avoid. I am alert. I've been alert. And he says, yeah, but this time I really mean it. screamed and blubbered like one of them was the last woman in the aisles. <laughs> Tried to throw her a bouquet of wild mimosas. Had to drag them away. Uh, I'm more just in the cleanup. Hey, something wrong? Seems right up. Told him to let it blow. Um, where did you disappear to? the Empire. Do not doubt it. We by this place, and we will act. Smoke will build. Fires will lick the stones of Dunwall Tower. And at the end of it all, the Abbey will stand in the ashes.
Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft the music boxes at each enclave. Here in the city, for instance. Instead, they're made in a few locations, kept from us, and shipped out. It seems dangerous. Far worse to have the knowledge and construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually Again, rare. The knowledge and construction materials oh, scattered oh, across the me. aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The, the techniques are applied by anyone but the most faithful, stranger. resolute overseers. The thing I've spotted into the bedrock of the community has passed. By the stricter! Oh, you're, you're not supposed to be here! Stick your escape! You aren't going anywhere! Brothers, let's prove it! Brothers, let's prove it! It's off because they have a very fast on tradition. Out of the fall! You're the world! Some of the like to you! Sir! No! Karnaka is in great peril, brothers and sisters. Now this is not news to those of you living through these times of crisis. But the source of your suffering might not be plain to you. Karnaka has turned away from the Abbey... Every man. Those leading the city would gamble with all that we had built with your very family. This takes a body important, even though I don't fully understand the situation. We'll wait for the vice overseer. When should Burn arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe Overseer Kendala. Until then, we stay where we are. Will the heretic's corpse attract blood fly? Dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. <laughs> Even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscle as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body.
Station. This should take me out to the Institute. Hattermeyer Station. This should take me out to the Institute. So don't wear your uniform. They keep good whiskeys there. They even stock old Dunwall. Ah, oh, man. Let me know next time you go. Someone there? My best chance for tracking down the crown killer. The place used to be a solarium for the idle rich where they flocked for rejuvenation treatments. It was founded just after the plague hollowed out Dunwall a decade and a half ago. Alexandria Hypatia is chief alchemist. And whether Anton Sokolov is still there or not, she's going to give me the answers I need.
carriage relay again. Should we check it out? Nah. I'm just making sure it's still in order. Settle down, stomach. <laughs> something going on here. After last night, I'm sure of that. I saw something. Whatever I saw... with Dr. Hypatia. Why? Uh, Bring it on. Whatever is happening...
open this door. B, C, D, B, N, G. key for the lab somewhere. history warp as words pass from the lips of one to the ears of another imperfectly formed half understood poorly remembered in the years to come the story of the crown killer will be twisted and bent hammered like soft metal by some accounts a monster that had to be put down by others a victim of treachery, preserved, because in the end, you found another way. But you'll always remember the truth, won't you? Your truth, at least.
Something under my fingernails again. Are you a patient of mine? I'm sorry. I... I should know that. I'm here to ask you about something. Do you cover your face because you were hurt? The afflictions we treat here are more common than anyone likes to admit. I'm not here for treatment. I'm looking for Anton Sokolov. Sokolov. Yes, he was here for a short time. But she took him away to see Kirin Jindosh. Do you... do you hear something? What about the Crown Killer? A patient of yours? The Crown Killer? That name came from the newspapers. I'm afraid I don't... Oh yes, the murders! I was in Dunwall, studying diseases found among whaling crews. Wait, did someone just call me? I've been forgetting things. The Crown Killer is an interesting case. I feel almost sure I could help with that. It's just... I used to do such good work, and now my memory is failing me. Who is that calling me? Excuse me. Too bad poison is not my first choice in weapons. Isn't this f I didn't used to lose things like this. The disease of memory. Common affliction for the gifted. Something is terribly wrong. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. I wonder what she would say about this.
I'm not in the mood. Sure, he knows how to talk with the boss. What a lick spittle. I'm sure of it. I guess Dr. Hypatia is not seeing patients anymore. There's so much I could do here. Like when Adam and I first opened. On orders from the Duke. Too bad the poison's not my first choice in weapons.
they have to know something. Time to collect this bounty! You're Hamilton? Why did they lock you up? You know something? I swear, I know what I saw. Hooded. I just caught a glimpse. So much hate in the eyes. As if the world needed more of that. I'm not seeing things. I hope they didn't steal my notes. I need to go back to my room. They took my key. I thought I could... I don't know what a fool I was. Anybody? Don't maybe search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Think you're scaring me? Once that watchtower is down, Megan can pick me up. Ugh. 
after this. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's head out for the dreadful whale. You didn't find Sokolov. No, but I killed Hypatia. You what? She was the crown killer. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her. She wasn't even aware of it. And Sokolov? He's been moved to the home of a man named Kieran Jindosh. The Duke's grand inventor. They say he's a genius. They die like anyone else. I need Anton Sokolov, but he's missing. Held by another inventor named Karen Jindosh, who no doubt wants whatever secret Sokolov holds in his head. Jindosh is the mad inventor who brought clockwork killing machines to Karnaka. They say he's got the most brilliant mind in the Isles. And it may be true, but a smart man wouldn't be standing in my way. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. so much to me. It's time to go get Sokolov. Ready? We should head out. All right, let's get underway. Jindosh is important to the Duke's inner circle. The Grand Guard watches his mansion, harassing people who look like trouble. You said there's a wall of light cutting off access to the carriage station. Yes, but there's a black market shop nearby. They sell on the sly. Ever use a rewiring tool? Yes, but it's been years. Good. Get past the wall of light. Then ride the carriage to where Jindosh lives. And there's a reason people are afraid of his mansion. I'll see you after it's done. Corvo, take care of this crazy man and his clockwork soldiers, then bring Sokolov back. He means a lot to me.
Malcontents are saying that our bridges are crumbling, that people are leaving our cities. But as I look out from the windows of the Grand Palace, I know these are lies. When the Grand Guard go into the place and see it packed solid with blood flies, they burn the building to the ground. And the one you there! We need your help! Hey, you! What's going on here? Let's go, old man! See what you got! That mask will look great at the end! You two look tough! Hide in your face! You shouldn't have wandered out. If you're not with the guard, I'm happy. There's something familiar about you. I've been away from Karnaka for a long time. I need a rewire tool, like the ones used by the Grand Guard. No questions. Clear? Yes, sir. But I can't help you right now. I have people coming in, and I can't be responsible for their manners if you take my meaning. Paolo is coming by. See me later. Understood. You should go. We can do business another time. Like I said, Hallow is coming by.
used to be, if you wanted a bath, you'd just go for a swim. Now the canal's... Yeah. Who do we have here? What's the mask for? Walk on. You won't like how this ends. Oh, that's not how it ends? How does it end, then? With an old man giving me advice in my own damn city, then being force-fed his ugly mask. Because that sounds like something I'd like a lot. Beat it. This will be your only warning. By next week. That's fair. in the Empire has driven the place up, I'm afraid. Welcome. What just happened? Witchcraft. He's more than just a petty thug, isn't he? Come in. Ah, I might have what you've been asking for. Welcome. I am sure you will find exactly what you're looking for. were so much better just a decade ago. A pleasure to do business. You won't be sorry. Think of me again. a chance anyway. Jindash's mansion from here. The gate's down. I'll need the code.
Um. That's your last mistake. Damn you! How <laughs> dare you to pieces! <laughs> were better from the time of the rat play. <laughs> Something wrong? Uh, Time for games. Whoever did that. Someone feels well. Are you hiding? What? Hey, who are you? Stop! I'm like you. Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Hey, where do you think you're going?
people like Jindosh. Broken children who'd cut up cats to see how they worked. You've done, and maybe I can find Sokolov. Who would build something like this, and why? Jindosh. My home is always open. It's one of my great curiosities, seeing how the common mind navigates the shifting rules. Barred from the other side. That's closer. You trained with weapons formerly, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a bit of back alley in your movements. All that and only one man ever wore that mask, to my knowledge. Welcome, Royal Protector. Obviously, you're pleased with yourself. Do you know why I'm here? I assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, way come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clockwork soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. Before you start an invention, let me become the young my time. The Dutch clockwork soldier. The metallic skeleton and razor sharp blade. See you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Clockwork soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. The actually back indicates that the machine is waking up. The space behind the walls.
playback indicating the criminal profile. Behind it. Okay. Unauthorized and criminal. Criminal. Playback for combat <laughs> protocol. Royal Protector, was that your explosive that just went off or one of my clockworks? The machine has entered combat. Hmm. Military profile, but hostile. Playback indicates an older male. Now, I can't remember any other visitor getting so far. Do you feel pride? Anticipation? Temperature back to normal. Waking up. Another full instruction set. Everyone's Mai spent three months happen. over on the web drive working here like the That's all it took. Okay, the machine has detected something. It seems you found my bedroom. Though I confess sleep usually eludes me. My mind won't stop turning. The machine concludes here, and nothing further is amiss. General detection state. Playback indicates criminal profile. Hmm. This won't take it. Right All right, All right. So you're back here. Playback for cool. Stand a chance anyway. It sounds as if you're hurt. Perhaps you've lost a step with a which my dear Corvo. Stand clear! I'm bringing up the arc pylon!
Somebody's down. You could have come this far. Megan helped me find you. We need to leave. Jindosh has plans for an army of his clockwork soldiers. He can't be permitted to build it. He won't. I'll be paying him a visit momentarily. <laughs> Safest to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh. My helmet! You wait for me! I'll kill you for that! Come on, 
lens refocus. at least. If there is a break-in, I hope the clockworks deal with it quickly. I'm tired of waiting for Jindal. Huh? You think of these... a body? I need to fix yeah. that. Stop the mask, Tara. Are you ready? I'm really high, girl. At least Sokolov is safe. Now for Jindosh.
a nuisance to the city, didn't you? to get him back to the ship. Let me know when you're ready. Jindosh, the Duke's grand inventor. Once he was commissioned to make a toy for a six-year Tibian noble girl. Jindosh worked for three months and built a machine composed of wood, brass, and the bones of several cats. It ran on a few drops of whale oil a day. The little girl was told she would have a special treat, and she was perfectly delighted until the moment it was activated. She lives in an asylum up at Dabakfa now, and will until the end of her days.
I'll wait here until you're done with Jindosh. When you're finished, meet me back here. Anton's sleeping, so he'll be alright for now. Someone there.
to alternative tactical mode. not to damage anything as you die. Clockwork soldiers, dispatch this intruder! Welcome to the final mystery, Jindosh. Electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. 
Combat Protocol 6. Unauthorized presence. Outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? the servants' quarters for cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. Parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. 
Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon, who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, He's going to give me a name, the next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name. That's all I need. Jessamine, Delilah's stronger now. Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? All this is her doing, and she'll die for it. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. Take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? 
Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she uh, wants. Who's there? You're not supposed to be here! No mercy! Please take a look around. We have... Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. No, think about it. See anything you like? What a pleasant surprise to see you again. And do. Think of us again. <clears throat> Welcome back. Please, take your time. Is there? Shit! Time to die, old man. Finish uh. him! Shit, we all... Conflict, power, 
breed lust for me. Why wouldn't you just hold your hand in mine one more time? Where are you hiding? Oh, yeah. Where that was. Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Only something would happen around here. It doesn't have to be a circus. I say, Just some bring it up. excitement once in a Whatever while. Whatever is happening, I'm ready.
Uh, shooting at us, boy. That? Did you that hear that? Close. So, let's see. What was it? What? You can't Come stay out, hidden forever. You are. I wonder who that was. Brothers and sisters of my blood. I need to be. 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 I'll help you look at Treasonous nation skulking in the cold, gloomy north. If they want war, we'll get it. Anybody? Don't maybe search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Stay sharp. Let's go. Nothing. Shit. What do you think that was? Now I'll just have a look. Huh? Wait, I'll have a look over there. Oh. Stay here. I'll just check what that was. Uh. Did you hear somebody over there? Suspicious. I just need to make sure. I'm sure.
So he says, keep alert. And I says, I am alert. I've been alert. And he says, yeah, but this time I really mean it. Huh. across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated banker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well. I just can't get comfortable. something 
I need to find out how a sword through the heart wasn't enough to kill our new Empress, Delilah.
it's a lot. But I think hmm, it seems rather rude to die here. I sleep. Figure you pass into the void. <laughs> Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton, three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions.
Kings and hunters of slithering things in the hours before dawn. Former milkmaids and magistrates, come before me and bow, for I am Delilah, your queen. All hail Delilah, the moon in the sky and the mist lying over the lake like a blanket. yourself. Get a longer Sorry. break no use on account of my bed. This can't be. Know yourself and state your name. Come in. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Please, visit again soon. Done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Deception doesn't make for good allies, Foster. Is that what you think, Royal Protector? You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago, letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting? I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead we got something else, 
beyond the pale, beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, Run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. Skiff closer. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Tanaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast. The mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Circonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery is only being possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the dust district. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. Find Megan once you reach the Dust District. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here. Yours is worth its weight. Silver. Die already! I'll be wiping off your blood later. Ugh.
I'm tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ears. Hey! Faster! With me! Let's see what you got. Reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage, and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them, and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. I'm gonna cut you into pieces. I'll cut you in half.
Vanguard out of our homes. But I don't see how you can help the miners. What's the matter? We saw <gasps> something?
and Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circonos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Wanted to... ah! This won't take long. Think you look tough? Hiding your face? Dead heretic. Always good news. Is it? Is it Paolo? He's dead? Good riddance. No way! Someone there. Hello? Who's there? Uh, the echoes of lies come back as the um, voice of the um, begging will change anything. I'll be dead! plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne, but for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? 
Yes, we do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you stopped his black heart for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. As will I, Assassin. Take our friend here away. I hope you find what you're looking for. Stilton's house is cursed. Look after yourself. No good comes from putting aside the strictures. Only madness and death. Remember that. Definitely a gunshot. Don't stand a chance, anyway!
tight like this. But what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Whew. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. Oh. Hey, watch out! Careful! It. The information was good. ...is an odd thing. I left Karnaka decades ago, excited about all that Dunwall might hold. I remember falling in love with Jessamine. Watching her crowned as Empress. Emily's birth, the Rat Plague, then Jessamine's death and another coronation. Now all this, back in the city where I was born. How many more lives do I have to take before it all ends? Stilton's home hides a mystery, but I'll tear it apart brick by brick to learn the secret of Delilah's immortality, as long as this ends watching her cough blood. Delilah might have pulled herself up from nothing, but I ran out of sympathy for tyrants and witches a long time ago. All I want is to put an end to Delilah and make sure Emily is safe. One more time. Definitely odd. Something just shifted. This place is cursed, cracked. I can feel the void seeping in. Is that Stilton? Warm the quilts, will you? A few. Three years ago, something inside Aramis Stilton snapped like a cheap lock. A part of him and a part of this house never left that evening. The Duke's inner circle are still gathered here, setting their grand plan into motion. Delilah's plan. And... A part of Aramis Stilton is always here, still breaking. The Void is not exactly a place, and it's much older and stranger than you could ever know. It watches you from within, and at the heart of Stilton's house, the Void is leaking through a pinprick, left behind by Delilah's little trick. Even magic is perverted here, and things don't work like they should. Take this. Imagine it's a kind of timepiece. Go and watch the Duke and Delilah. See for yourself what they did. Like it's going to be 
cold. without the combination. There's a note on the door, Captain Winterbottom. What? <laughs> he, he's out back. I need the code to the study. It's in his notebook, ma'am. <laughs> soon still didn't have taste before lunacy took his mind mr stilton's given away another set of silverware the miners Stilton's got the code to the study. I'll need that to get inside. Stilton wasn't born to all this. Allegedly, he started as a miner. To understand. I'm going to call for help. It's impossible to get good help these days. Sometimes I think. <laughs> change in the present based on what I do here tonight.
I wonder what I was doing in Dunwall on this night. Or what I am doing. Stinks around huh? here. It's not my job to clean up. Google's acting odd like today. Just staring at nothing. I don't think the Duke can still too long. I might not be able to catch your heavy ass. I'm counting on you, ma'am. It might be romantic. All right. <laughs> Nothing, man. I wonder who that was.
says keep alert, and I says I am alert. I've been alert. Who are you? He says, Why are you Juke send you? Get away! Yes, my luck. The bring in an important night. Yes. What is this? Be sure to not the more. Mm. I'll search for the here. Hmm. Finally, rest easy. What? After? Hey. No. I'm not in the mood. Show yourself. Show yourself and state hey, you. your name. Come here! Who's hiding? Sure. What's going on? I was sleeping again last night. Maybe I ought to try one of those sleeping tinctures. They can be kind of pricey.
seeping into the present, or vice versa. It's time to begin. Where's Stilton? I should never have kept him on just because he and my father were... close. What we're about to attempt has never been done. It's beyond my understanding, and certainly beyond yours. If anyone has any doubts, set them aside now. This defies rational understanding. It's the frayed edge where natural philosophy crosses over into something else. Yes, I can feel it. We risk madness. All of you, Delilah is your rightful empress. You owe her this. Delilah's stronger than before. The Duke and I have heard her voice, whispering to us. And now it's time, so take your positions. Focus on the void behind the world. You can feel her power. Catch you. By the star. This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attempted. Do it now! You return from cold. From forever. She lives. Curious. It seems to have worked. My spirit is safe now, inside this thing. Luca, you must block it away. I thought we'd lost you, Brianna. Luca, I will never abandon you. Wait. You are hidden, but I know who you are. I know when you are. You've come to watch me return. And someday, I'll come for you. The void beyond the world is strange. I won't ever understand all I've seen. By the star. This is more exciting than any orgy I've ever attended. Looks like weird. Yeah. What's the matter? Huh? You saw 
something? What? Go in the chest. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stop! You're surrounded! And go! and hid it away, inside a thing made of bones. She's made herself immortal. If you want to kill Delilah, you're going to have to find her spirit and give it back to her. Reaching it won't be easy, but what comes after that might be the hardest thing you will ever have to do. is full of secrets. All right, back to the skiff. Sokolov should be waiting. What are you covering 
your face for? Keep the dust out? Rise. Are you ready to leave? <clears throat> the dust is wreaking havoc on my throat. Yes. I paid a visit to Paolo and the Howlers, and I've been to Stilton's house. We can go. Duke Luca Bell tore down the old palace in Karnaka and built himself a new one, a monument to his ego. Whether he knows it's coming or not, I'm here to exact vengeance for everything he's done to me, my family, and the place of my birth. I'm going to show him what happens to those who threaten the Empress. After tonight, the Duke will either be dead or deposed, depending on how this plays out. I've got to get inside, take care of the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping one man with a piece of sharp metal is another story altogether. Killing off Duke of Bell is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. The Duke has pissed away any respect I might have had for his position. He's going to pay for his part in Delilah's coup. Should we head toward the palace? Let's go. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Circonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, 
Find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. of your homeland. A bigger, better palace than the one you sailed away from so long ago. Feeling nostalgic? Will you ever be comfortable in Dunwall again? Assuming you make it back? You've seen the suffering here, the decay, but, dear Corvo, would you even have lifted a finger if the Duke hadn't put Emily in harm's way? Be honest now. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind.
infested with blood flies. Command staff changes constantly. New officers, new rules. Spread a few coins here and there. There is another spirit here. The armed is caged flesh.
the rumors are true about the Crown Killer. It must be nice to be on the Duke's payroll. What the? Stop! No! Ah! I got just a for you. you. Play back for oh, combat oh, protocol. Let the Clockwork Soldier go. Combat protocol. Meet me that way. Enemy encountered. Playback for unambiguous enemy. What are you waiting for? Being quiet. Sometimes a man just needs time by himself. My responsibilities lay upon me. Of course I can put shit everywhere. Stupid. I know all my letters and then some. It's not about Mary. The inner circle is actually the Duke's fans. Rick Spittles. At least I'm not one of them. Exactly. And think, with all this fighting for thrones is settled, the Duke's going to need men to take charge of the Northern Islands. My this time, This opens the Duke's vault. keeps
Duke's vault. hidden away in here. some detection without certainty. Running search protocol. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. safe. We had such dreams, but I no longer care what you do. Save my daughter and release me into nothing. decorative animal.
pleased with what you become. She gave you her heart, and you threw it into the void. Every time you drew your blade, a part of her died. I have it to impossible places at once. Dead flesh after a prison of bones. You will take me back and die at my hands. Take a look real quick. Yeah, I'll let you find anything suspicious. Check around here. Is that it? The fall of Karnaka? The Duke is dead. Long live whatever happens next. Back to the dreadful whale, then. And on toward Dunwall. It looks that way. To find a way to help Emily. And to give her back the throne. Ready, then? Come on. Let's leave this place. All right. As you want. This is how the worst day of my life began. A masked man closing in on Dunwall Tower, planning a murder. Dowd and the Lord Regent killed Jessamine, but it broke them. Now it's happening again. Another Empress dies, another story ends. What will it do to me? Delilah won't go without a fight. She outfoxed me and I never saw it coming. But I was Corvo before I was the Royal Protector. Before I owned a sword I fought with sticks, and broken glass, whatever came to hand. I don't know what grand scheme you've got underway, Delilah, but I'm coming to put you in your grave.
Witness to powerful figures and the bodies piled around. Remarkable. Now that we're here, I suppose you know where to go and what to do. You've killed a legion. So what's one more? One more, or a thousand more. Delilah deserves what she's about to get. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I've told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. Too late for regrets. Everyone feels some regret. Atop a long line, mine is now chiefly that I'm out of time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, Anton. Side. She seemed cagey earlier, even more than usual. I made a vow I wouldn't come back here. And that's twice I've broken it for you. Megan, I'm taking this gift. I want to go to Dunwall Tower alone. All right. Do you know how you're going to kill Delilah? If you leave her alive, she'll come for you sooner or later. I'll do whatever it takes to end her and get Emily back. Just make sure you don't hesitate. Delilah's dangerous. You don't have to worry about that. If old Samuel could see me now. Take me to the Mall Tower. Bring me back to the cage of my own chest. Oh, I will. Delilah will be made mortal again. You let Emily's mother slip into oblivion. Do you know where my mother's resting? In a child's coffin. Her skinny legs tucked beneath her, because I couldn't afford proper burial. While my father rests in the Imperial crypt. You're lying. You still can't accept it. You were sent to Dunwall as a gift, like a box of candies, because that's all you were worth. I had your mother's heart, and my body sleeps in your bastard daughter's bed. If I learned anything in Karnaka, it's that you only deserve to keep your throne if you're ready to roll out a red carpet of blood before it. We'll be face to face soon, and I'll end you, Delilah. Everything's gone to the void here. 
can't hurt to be stopped up on munitions. Everyone has to make a living, right? You won't regret it. Glad we could do business. I'll take that deal. I don't know how long Gunwall is going to stand. You want blueprints for better weaponry. Come back next time you need some. Okay. 
So here we are, where my dear, lying half-sister Jessamine and I played as children. Where she first opened her bedchambers to you, then gave birth to your daughter. Where you let Dowd murder sweet Jessamine. The place that ruined both our lives. the last of Jessamine's circle, and we've both been marked by the black-eyed bastard. What do you think? Do you ever get cold at night? Protector? The machine sees someone behind it.
follow me, dear Corvo, and see how I will reshape all things. After facing a powerful supernatural enemy, the Empress and her royal protector saw a ferocious ally in the Abbey of the Everyman, who at long last began to enforce unrestrained righteousness across Serkonos. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. Their disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful Empress once again seized her throne. And so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with her legendary father, Corvo Atano, standing by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov lit the fires of industry, serving a great consuming blaze at the heart of the empire. He saw his machines used for war and oppression, watching the powerful crush those beneath them. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he turned to the cold north, his energy spent at last, only an echo of the man he'd aspired to be. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try, questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, 
setting out to discover her truest self and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family.